Join our Patreon to get early access to videos just like this, ad-free. Link is in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add an add to cart button on your dynamic pages and in your dynamic repeaters without code. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I did was actually add these Wix stores to our website. And we're just gonna be using the default products that it comes with. But the first thing we actually need to do is create dynamic pages for these products. So in order to do that, we can come over to CMS and go to collections. And unfortunately you will not see it quite yet. And that's because we actually need to come over to dev mode and turn this on. Now we aren't gonna be using code or anything like that, but when we enable dev mode, it gives us access to all of the different back end collections that we will need. So if we come down to our products collection, press this three dots, you'll notice that we have an option to add a dynamic item page. Let's go ahead and click that and it's gonna build out the page for us. Now, this is supposed to look like a product page and unfortunately, this does not look like a product page at all. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of rearrange this to kind of make it look like, look like a product page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring the description over here. We'll go ahead and bring the product over here as well. Let's delete these two elements right here real quick. Let's add a gallery, which most product pages look, have this type of gallery. And we want to connect this to our media items, just like that. Perfect, and we'll bring this right over here. They'll bring this text right here. We'll bring this description down below that. And last but not least, we'll go ahead and add a little text right here. And this can be the price. So we want to connect this to the formatted price. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have, you know, the perfect dynamic custom product page, now we can just go ahead and add a button. So we'll go over here. Let's just drag this button out onto the page. And we can change the text to add to cart. Fantastic. Now, if we connect this, we will now see an option that just says add to cart. And now we are completely done. So if we go ahead and press preview, let's say we wanted to check out this vase and we wanted to maybe buy that vase. We can just press add to cart. And now the little mini cart will appear and it will have the item that we pressed add to cart and sent to cart. And of course we can just press view cart and check out if we wanted to. Now, what I will say about this is let's say we're not just buying a vase. Maybe you're trying to set up a custom dynamic product page for a product that has different options like a t-shirt which has different colors, maybe different sizes, and you want to add those here. Now, unfortunately, I do believe if you want this method to work, you are gonna have to use code and maybe even use the coded version of the button instead of just the connection option here for add to cart. You might just have to say not connected and use Velo code to show the options and add to cart in a different way. So unfortunately, this method might not work for you if you have like products with different, you know, variations, right? So just keep that in mind when you are building out this page. If you have products with variations, then this method may not work for your users. But the cool thing about this feature is it doesn't just stop on dynamic pages. So if I come back over to collections, go down to products, and I want to add a dynamic list page. So maybe we wanted to create our own little shopping experience and have something like this, where it just has a list of your different products here. Instead of this button saying read more, we could say add to cart, and we could link this to add to cart right from the repeater itself as well. 
So once again, if I just go ahead and press preview and I press add to cart here on this option right here, you'll see that this one gets added to the cart. Maybe I wanted like this hat right here, we can add that to cart. And of course it is adding each of these elements to the cart really easily. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.